everybody, welcome back to Irish in Finland. Today's video, I'm going to take a look at some of the weird, wonderful, and just ones that I find awesome, coats of arms in Finland. Now, if you were looking for a video where I'm going to go in depth and talk about the symbols that you find on these coats of arms, this is not that video. This video is me basically just reacting to the ones that I find weird, wonderful, and just awesome. Okay, maybe I might do a video where I talk in depth further down the line about these different things. But anyway, let's just get started. So the first one here is Inari. It is a fish with antlers. What more do you want? That's fantastic. That's such a great start. No, I, I love this one because it's just different. You know, there's a uniqueness to it. Next one is Kusumo, okay? Now, this one, I'm not gonna lie, this one is kind of glorious, okay? It's a reindeer with an aurora on the, on the top. That golden thing that I thought was a crown, actually, by the way, at the start. But then when I'm reading this description on Wikipedia, by the way, so like I said, I'm not going really in depth. It says that this is an aurora. Now, I've seen this particular golden symbol that's above the reindeer before, because it's on the next one I'm gonna show you. I had to give Lapayarvi a big shout out because this was the first, you could say, coats of arms that I seen in Finland. So I visited Lapayarvi many times, even before I moved here to Finland fully, I visited Lapayarvi. The reason is because that's where my Finnish wife's family, most of them are from and still are today. So I remember I seen this particular coat of arm and I was like, oh my God, that's really, really nice. But just like Kusumo's, there's this golden thing. Now the difference is this one for Lapayarvi is below. It's not on top. So I'm wondering what this is, you know? Maybe somebody in the comments can let me know what it is because I'm not too sure. But anyway, Lapayarvi's coat of arms is very, very nice. Right, so this is the coat of arms for Multia. And um, it's just an ant. It's just a golden ant. And there's something about it that when I seen it first, I was just like, this is cool. There's something really awesome about this. Don't know what it is, but there's just something really awesome about a golden ant. And that's it. Again, maybe there's somebody watching this video who knows a little bit more about why Multi had chosen Ant. Please do let me know. The next one is Nivala. And that's just a gate. That's it. Next up, we have Varkaus. Okay. And as you can see, it's an arm with an anchor. Holding an anchor. This one is cool and really, really just awesome. I don't know what it is. Most of the ones that are black with gold are really, really cool. Actually, the ones that have black in them, a black background are awesome. But I really like this one. It's not my favorite. I do have a favorite. Here it is. This is my favorite one. Yanak Kala, okay? Why? Because there is a Khajiit from the Elder Scrolls games on this particular one. Right, guys, look, it's not a Khajiit, okay? It's clearly, it's a Lynx. But this one, I really like this one. I want this on a t-shirt. I don't know why I like it so much. Maybe it is the Lynx. Lynx animals are just absolutely beautiful. Yeah, that is a man holding a club while riding a bear. And that is... It's from Lapua. So this one is Normi Yarvi. And as you can see, there is seven guys' heads on this. Now, I think this could be the, the tale of the seven brothers. I made a video about this a couple of months ago where I talked about treasure folklore in Finland. And basically there's a tale, a folk tale of the seven brothers. And when I was doing a little bit of research for that video, a name never came up in terms of a place. So I'm thinking to myself, is this it? Maybe? 
I mean, there's seven guys there. There's a Finnish folk tale about the seven brothers. Um, so I don't know. Maybe it is. Maybe people. Maybe somebody w w would know. But it's cool that if that is the case, that they've kind of put that on the coat of arms for Normie Yarvi. It's really really cool. This one got my attention an awful lot, and because I'm Irish, you can understand why. Because that's a harp, right? It's a harp in the shape of an eagle at the front. It's a big red harp. Now. I didn't know harps were big in Finland, okay? But hey, look, maybe they're not. Maybe just this specific place has a reason why there's a harp there. Again, let me know in the comments, but that is a really, really awesome emblem. Like, it's really cool. I was scrolling through the list, and that one just like, bang. It's like, yeah, that is really, really cool. But let me know, maybe people know out, out there, why is there a harp connected to this particular place? I need to know why. Do you ever think like to yourself, I would love to see an emblem or a coat of arms with um, a big massive beaver uh, holding an ax? Well, I'm telling you something, Enno has you covered because they have what you're looking for. And this emblem, I need this on a t-shirt because it is absolutely awesome. Look at that, that is crazy. There's a beaver holding an axe. Fantastic, that's what that's what you want, you know? Forget about all your big fancy emblems with crowns and everything. Just give me a beaver with an axe, simple. So guys, look, there is loads of coat of arms in Finland for everywhere, okay? And they are all unique in themselves. They're awesome, they're really cool. I'll leave a link in the description of this video so you can have a look at them yourself. Obviously, if there's Finnish people looking at this video, you guys probably know what they are. But I would love to pick your brains though, because I did ask a couple of questions in this video about certain sim symbols. So if you know anything about what I asked for, please let me know in the comments. Or maybe let me know what your favorite one is. Okay, maybe it was one I didn't mention today. And if I didn't, don't worry, because I will definitely do a part two of this particular video. And like I said earlier on, at the very start of this video, I definitely definitely will take some of them coat of arms and try to break them down. Try to find out what the symbols mean for that particular place. I think that'll be pretty cool. Anyway, don't forget to smash that like button, leave a comment, and don't forget to press subscribe. Thank you very much.